Now let's talk about something very, very important in SOQL and that is relationship queries. Let me explain you what relationship queries exactly are. So in Salesforce, objects are related to each other, either through a lookup relationship or through a master tail relationship. Standard objects are also related to each other and custom objects are also related to each other and even standard objects and custom objects can also be related to each other. What if we want the records which are associated to the record of the master object or of the detail object? Let me explain you what I mean by that. You want uh, to fetch all the records uh, of account or all, like some of the account records and all the associated contacts with it. So how are you going to do that? Or let me give you a simple uh, another example. You want to fetch all the opportunities with information of the account fields value with it. So how are you going to do that? Like we can only query onto a particular object when it comes to SQL query. This is what I have explained to you. But if we want the information from different, different objects, uh, the, yeah, or you can say if you want the information of different, different objects into a single SQL query, how are we going to get that? We can get that with the help of relationship queries and relationship queries are of two types, parent to child relationship query and child to parent relationship query. Let's have a look at the examples that I have available over here to understand how each of these relationship queries work.